Hi, this is Sean, and thanks for watching The Techie Coach. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can password protect a Google Form. Now, this is an old trick. It's been around for quite a while, but it's still a great way to keep users from entering information into your form if you don't want them. And this works great if you're just sending a form out on a public website and you want users that specifically have the password to fill out the form, but you want to keep other people out of it. So people outside of your organization or outside of your school, for instance. Or if you just want to put a password on a test before kids take it. So it's actually a very simple process. Um, all you need to do is go ahead and set up your form the way you want it. And then right up here in the first section, uh, click in that section, and then we're going to put a section break in there. So I'll click section break. And so right after this section one, I'm going to add a question. And my question is going to be enter the password. Now this is going to be a short answer question. And the trick here is to go down to the more button on this question and click data validation. And what we're going to choose is, um, let's say for instance, I'm going to put a number on as the password. So I'm going to say the number equal to, and I'm going to put in the numbers uh, 8675309. And you can put in a custom error text that says wrong password if they've entered it wrong. And then you're going to make this question required. So first of all, what this does is it's the very first question they see. It's the only question they see uh, when they get into the form. And if they don't put in the right number, they cannot move forward and answer any of these questions on the test or on the registration form, whatever it is you're using. So to test this out, I'm going to go and preview the form. This is how they'll see it. And if I try to put in the number 123456 and click Next, it won't let me. But if I put in the proper password, then the wrong password message goes away. I've got the right code and I can click next and I can begin entering answers into the form. So real quick, that's how you set up a password to protect a form if you don't want someone getting into it without permission. Um, hopefully this helps you. And if you have any other questions about Google Apps, uh, send me a message on my website or just visit me at www.techiecoach.com. Thanks for joining me.